Mohammed Dajani Daoudi is a Jerusalem-born Palestinian who is a former member of the Palestinian Liberation Organization, or PLO. He started the Wasashia, meaning Middle Ground Movement, that promotes the Islamic traditions of non-violence and uh, compromise to, among other things, bring a message of peace, moderation, justice, coexistence, and tolerance. During this Israeli apartheid week, he is in South Africa talking about the use of dialogue and education to deconstruct mythologies and distortions and misinterpretations to promote knowledge and empathy for others. Well, he's in studio with us so we can get more from him. Really lovely to meet you. Welcome to Morning Live. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, and, and most importantly, welcome to South Africa, especially this being your, your, your first trip to the country. So welcome. Uh, thank you very much. It's now, my pleasure to be here. You were here during this Israeli apartheid week, as I, as I mentioned during the introduction, where the ruling ANC has reiterated its unequivocal support for the Palestinian people and uh, the struggle of self-determination, adding that they were unapologetic, to quote them, in their view that the Palestinians are the victims and the oppressed in the conflict with Israel. What are your views on this? I believe that uh, we need to uh, pass the stage of victimhood and move to the stage of uh, reconciliation. Because I believe that uh, uh, we have here both people who have suffered a lot and uh, who have uh, uh, been uh, in different times under a lot of uh, uh, pressure. And uh, so I believe that it is time for both people uh, to seek peace together and uh, reconciliation. Yeah. That's, and that's what we are doing. We that's are hoping that... Uh, the um, 1993 Oslo Accord uh, brought a dramatic change in the region in the sense that before Oslo, it was Palestinians against Israelis. Mm. And now, after Oslo, it became Palestinians and Israelis for peace against Palestinians and Israelis against peace. And that's actually what we are doing today is that um, the radicals want to have an exclusive uh, ownership of the land while we are seeking a shared ownership of the land. Now, you, you're an activist, obviously. You've been um, banned from Israel and Jordan as well through your Fatah movement. I'm also reading that uh, in 1975, uh, Lebanon de deported you as well. Um, who are you? What is Professor Dejani? I mean, tell us a little bit more about your background. Actually, I... Uh went through a journey in which uh, I was uh, born in Jerusalem and uh, my family suffered from the 1948 uh, Nakba or catastrophe where they lost everything when they moved from, when they escaped from uh, West Jerusalem to East Jerusalem. So I grew up in an environment, a culture of uh, hate, enmity. And this culture grew and uh, was a climax in the 1967 uh, war. And uh, so that's why I joined Fatah to liberate Palestine. And, um, but in 1975, I opted to leave politics and uh, join the academia and become, and so I studied at uh, different universities, got uh, an MA and two PhDs yeah. in the United States. And I think that uh, being able to get out of uh, the hole in which um, the environment was full of hate, hatred and enmity helped me to uh, uh, be able to overlook uh, for the future. Okay. And then I uh, was allowed to go back in 1993 to Palestine and to Israel. Uh, and my experience there helped me really to, to find uh, more uh, in my heart to, uh, to seek peace and uh, moderation. All right. I'm going to have to just let you pause there for a second. I'm going to ask you to stay on, if you don't mind, just a, a little bit after 8 o'clock to continue talking to you because I think a lot of viewers would be interested in hearing uh, your wishes and your dreams. But uh, let's, let's just close it there for one second. In, in fact, I'm actually going to say goodbye to our SABC2 viewers right now. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Of course, we're back with you tomorrow morning. But Channel 404, remember, there is another hour. We would love you to join us. And, of course, you can uh, continue to listen to this interview that we have got with uh, Professor Mohammed Dajani Daudi, who's here in South Africa. Stay tuned.